Usually we burn paper by using a flame from a lighter like this. Tissue paper burns really well. But did you know that you could light paper on fire without using an outside flame at all? Check out this next video clip for a cool demo. One, two, three. There we go. Check it out. Isn't that a cool demo? But to understand it, you have to understand two definitions. Work is the transfer of energy due to a force, and heat is the transfer of energy due to a temperature difference. So normally, we'll heat something up by putting like a flame here, something hot, and then energy flows from the hotter thing to the cooler thing, like these air molecules in this example, or paper. But you also saw that we can do just the opposite thing. I can push this down and do work on it, transfer of energy by force. And when I do that, these molecules are moving faster down here. They have a higher temperature, or we could say they have more thermal energy just as if we had put a flame under this and made them move faster. That idea is called the first law of thermodynamics. And it can be summarized with an equation that the change in thermal energy is equal to the heat plus the work. And it was figured out back when they were studying steam engines, before we knew anything about energy. And so it really just is an energy idea, but it's called the first law of thermodynamics. Now I can also do the opposite. I can cool something down using these same two ideas. I can put ice around this air cylinder and energy flows from the warmer air to the cooler ice and it cools down the air, loses thermal energy. Or I could put the cylinder in a vacuum chamber, pump the air out, and the air uses its own energy to push outward so then it loses thermal energy, it cools down. In these cases, the work and the heat would both be negative. If you enjoyed this lesson on heat and work, then you should check out my course on energy at Curious.com. Um, it's made up of 12 short video lessons that will take anyone who does, that doesn't even understand much about physics or energy at all from a very ground level, I don't understand stuff, step by step uh, to understanding um, what energy is in physics, what some of the basic equations are, and how to use it to solve interesting and cool real-world problems, like stuff with dark guns, Nerf dark guns. Um, I try to use everyday language and incorporate interesting demos like today as well. And not only that, but you'll get some experiments to do at home and some do-it-yourself projects like racquetball poppers and how to make a rubber band car. Um, so if that interests you, you should check out the link below to Curious.com and my course on energy in the description uh, below. And not only will you get access to all of my lessons and my course, but also to hundreds of other teachers on Curious.com who are passionate about their subject. And they have things ranging from uh, music and how to play the guitar, to how to do jewelry, to fitness like Pilates or parkour. Um, and even computer stuff like how to get better at doing Excel. And those are just some of the things that I've checked out. So you can go to Curious.com and do a free trial for seven days and really check out whether it's for you or not. Um, and you can also do a monthly or yearly subscription. So thank you for watching this long, and I hope to see you over at Curious.com.